Hello and welcome to Cities Skylines. I am Tom, and this this is a game I've had a uh, an interest in for a very long time, but I haven't actually played. Uh, apart from doing a bit of testing before now, I've not actually played the game. Uh, I'm thinking of going for Split Tributary. I got all of the DLC, um, most of it in a bundle, apart from the latest one, which was Parks and Promenades. I picked that one that one up separately. Uh, that's what this one's from, but I like the look of this. It's a European theme, as you can see here. I've sorted by theme to select it. Has all of the different um, uh, different outside connections. So by road, or by highway, by rail, by ship, and by plane. It's got a good build area of 89%. Uh, I also want to go left-hand traffic, thank you. Uh, Vera's is totally fine. Yeah, we'll go for that. So as I say, I, I, the reason I haven't played this game in all the time it's been out is because up until quite recently, I mean, look back to when I started my channel, right? Um, because it was it was before that that I got this new computer, but prior to that, I hadn't had this game and I hadn't had um, the hardware to play it because I don't think it works on MacBook. Maybe it does. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I just thought it wouldn't work on my MacBook. I don't know. Yeah, because it was just it was just a MacBook. It wasn't really a gaming machine. The main games I played on it were like simple ones like FTL. I never really wanted to to push the hardware of uh, my MacBook because it wasn't wasn't made for that, was it? So yeah, I've had an interest in this for the longest time, but I haven't played a city builder since SimCity Four, which is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And then I know. Um, I've seen the issues with the, the latest SimCity. God, these came out so long ago now, didn't they? This came out and SimCity came out at roughly the same time, and SimCity looked like absolute an absolute mess, and this just looks uh, brilliant, but it's been years it's been out. It's got tons of DLC, and uh, we've got that now. So yeah, I know the controls roughly. I've added some DLC as well. So I think, for example, this... Oh, yeah, go away. This is DLC. I think the... Uh, no, sorry, not DLC. Mods. So I think these come from a roundabout mod. Uh, the only road I'm allowed to build at the moment, though, is... Oh, cool. Uh, is this two-lane road. So we're going to have to do that first of all. Can I just build a little... The smallest segment I can just here and then demolish it? Because I might prefer to do a roundabout if I can. Yeah, more has opened up now. So if I want to, I can jump across to to adding a roundabout instead. I could put I could put that there, then have things things merge into it, couldn't I? Uh, how am I gonna do this? Hmm. Okay. Uh. Yeah, because what I would like to do is have the roundabout. Like, uh, oh, it's, it keeps on snapping and I don't want it to be snapping. Hang on. Can I demolish that bit of road and just get that out of the way so I can plop this roundabout down somewhere like just in between the two without it snapping on. So roughly there. That's good. And that's going in the right direction as well. That's good. I was worried about left-hand traffic messing with the roundabouts a bit, but that's uh, totally fine. Can I demolish that? Yes, I can. Because what I want to do really is just connect these onto it. Uh, if I can if I can do that. I don't know if I even can do that. This is a four lane road, but these are both one direction, three lane. That's a six lane. That's a six lane. Do we not have a three lane road anywhere? Oh no, we don't, do we? We do have a lot of road options. Oh, a two lane one way. That's actually good. Two lane one way with sidewalks. There's so much more here than I thought there was going to be. Anyway, um, back across to the the beginning of this. Uh, have we got? What a four lane road. Do we not have? Um, yeah, what I'm looking for is mainly this kind of road. As I say, I've got mods though, so I wonder, can I? Can 
Can I do something here? Network multi-tool. Add node mode. Oh, that will let me do something with, with something. Um, subtract node, union node, split node, intersect, invert, no, oh no, not set slope, hang on. Arrange at line node, arrange at circle mode, create loop mode, create, create connection mode, maybe, right? With uh, this? Oh. No, I have no idea what I've just done there. Back into the road menu. What other options have we got here? We've got create curve mode, create parallel mode. Uh, oh yeah, there's, there's curved roads, I understand that, yeah. There are more options for me, I, I do understand. Uh, what I want to do is just... Arrange at line mode. If I select this... Oh no. Okay, let's ignore that for the time being then. Because I can just uh, use the basic road if I want to, I can always upgrade it later. Although it should be a one-way, shouldn't it? I'm going to have to go and select the uh, the one-way traffic. Two lanes, so we reduce to two lanes. And I do think I do want a little bit of a curve to it, actually. If I can... Um, uh, oh no, nothing like that. That's, that's awful. Maybe it would be better if it were more freeform. Would that work? So I drag it out to about here. And then, oh yeah, that's that's doing the trick. So that merges with the the roundabout there, and same sort of thing on this side. Just uh, going the other way, just like that. However, that is the wrong way around. So can I do something about that? Uh. No, I just want to change the direction of this road here. How do I do that? How do I uh, change direction? Oh, I can't do anything. Uh, is there maybe a control click or an alt click or a shift click? No, 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 no. Or do I have to like do something? Surely not. Supports low traffic. Cost is something something. Districts and areas. Advise. Ah, here we go. Uh, to change the road's type, try the upgrade tool. Choose a road type and click an existing road. Change its direct with the secondary mouse button to change its direction. Okay, so upgrade. That's what we want. Fantastic. So that's okay. That's our one-way system with a roundabout. Brilliant. That uh, connects onto there. That's excellent. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. So now we have uh, we have options. And what I want to do is maybe have a residential district over here, and have industry um, over here and commercial probably more central here. So let's head over in this direction first using uh, not that tool. But in fact, just a regular road, please, back over here. It's not that one, not with a sidewalk. This one. Although we should have sidewalks. We should have walkable roads. That would be good. Uh, we don't want it to be straight, necessarily. We'll just go for the freeform tool. Get it over to where these trees are. That would be uh, ideal. Maybe curve it around a bit. We'll pull it out this far and curve it off in this direction. Then around like this. Um, uh, I don't really know. That'll be enough for now. I think. So we'll just start building some uh, residential areas on here, wherever we, uh, wherever we can. Certainly, 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 all of this 
and we'll fill in the last little bit of area here as well. So all of that can be residential. Uh, but that's going to need power, and it's going to need... The people here are going to need jobs, and there's going to need to be industry as well. So think about that in a second. Um, what I want to do is start working towards having a commercial district. So back over to roads. Let me demolish this one. We'll have one coming off of a slightly different angle. Don't these already have sidewalks? Is that not a sidewalk? It looks like, despite my choosing this one, it already has a sidewalk. I'm going to have a road coming off about here and heading in this kind of a uh, direction. Which I said was going to lead over to a more commercial kind of area. Yep. Curving to here. Maybe these two will connect up over here as well, I don't know. But for the uh, time being, let's just leave it there. And I think the industrial area I'm thinking of having will probably connect onto this network over here as well. There's no sense in having that. We'll just have it veer off from somewhere like like here. Go off in that kind of a direction. Although actually, it's not as... Um, I kind of want the, the turn-off to be shallower than that. Or, or sharper. But that's intersecting with itself, so I can't do that. Uh, so I guess try and get it like that and... Okay, that's not going to work. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to we're going to add the the industrial area over here somewhere once I figure this out. Or maybe we just have it come off here. Yeah, let's have it come off here. Totally fine. Yeah, that's fine. And the reason I want this bit closer to the water is because it's going to be where our uh, our various water things are. So we'll leave it like that for now. With um, This already zoned for residential, I believe. We'll get some of this zoned for commercial as as necessary. Say starting from about here. But we do need to also connect these areas quite a bit. Now let me get this tool. Yeah, just paint that in. Just a little bit there. We'll have that much commercial for now. Maybe fill in that last square there and there and then we want industrial but the the main industrial things that I need are power so I think a coal power plant no I'd like to go green I really would like to go green which means finding places where the wind is good like right here when we get into town that's not bad darker areas mean more wind so I don't mind constructing a little wind farm over here. How much cash have I got? This costs 6,000. I have 54,000. So I think we're, we're okay-ish for the time being. I just want to keep everything on this side of the uh, road. I don't want to demolish those rocks. We'll have a little wind farm of four turbines for now. That's quite a big spend already. I've made a mistake spending that much actually. Um, because I also need to put in the water infrastructure, which means pumping water in and then treating it if I can afford to do that. Cost 2,500, that's not too bad. Yeah, so I don't mind having the water treatment center uh, somewhere down here. Maybe about Hmm. Maybe toward the end? Close to the river, certainly. It doesn't need to be right by the river. Let's, yeah, let's place it either side of this rock, I'm thinking. Because that's rather, like, um... Rather scenic, then. We're trying to, um... 
I'm trying to make the most of the natural beauty of the area, you know what I mean? So I'm not doing any, like, min-maxing, like, grid system or anything. We do need to... That's the treatment center, so we do also need to actually get water in the first place. No waste outlet pipe. We're just going to collect the water from down... Uh, oh god, here if we can without destroying that would be great. Just about there? That's good. We'll put it there. Put it there and then we do need to have pipes running to these various areas. Let me also zone some industrial, first of all. Uh, not too close to that center if I can avoid it. I guess I'd rather have it further out, wouldn't I? Because it creates quite a lot of pollution. So like that for the time being. And that's going to be good. Okay. With power, of course, reaching over to this area, wherever the, um, uh, wherever, wherever I've started the zone, roughly here. So, uh, just about there. So power running from about here. Uh, back over to here. Yeah, basically over here where it's coming from. I would love for it to be more parallel with the, the road there as well. Or more, uh, not parallel, perpendicular. So there we go, That's that looks good to me. And we want another set running out to the commercial district and another set running out to there, but the only demand we have at the moment is residential, so let's make sure we're plumbed in as well, obviously. That's the next thing to do, is make sure that we are in fact plumbed in, and I like to have the pipes follow the roads, so let's get to this central part here, we'll bring it down the middle here, and then up into the residential areas over here, just following the road around in this direction. That'd be them plumbed in, but we also need to plumb them into the the uh, the waste area as well. Sorry, not the waste area. The uh, the water reclaiming. So out in this direction. And just follow that road along. We'll create the offshoot in just a second. I just want to follow the road all the way up and to the end. Okay, and finally connect that to that. There we go. So that should be water and power once the residential area starts showing up. Which should be straight away. We have 18,000 remaining. But there's the housing showing up already, and they're connected, they're connected to the water, to the power, so that's fantastic. Before long there'll be demand for... oh, you're not powered. Okay, hang on a second, I need to um, pause if I can, and get you connected to the power grid as well. Which is going to be more difficult, because the zoning doesn't start until way out there, so... Really what I want to do is, I actually want to get rid of this, because it's not going anywhere for the time being and just build power up to the building. Like, uh, starting, yeah, from here. That's totally fine. Running to about here, and then along the back to here. That connects that up. That's perfect. So you've got power, everything's plumbed in. You're complaining about water, why? Okay, they're complaining at first, but then it's disappearing. First little bit of commercial showing up as well. The demand for residential is still pretty high. The demand for others is going up. You're not powered and you're not watered, of course not. I'm an idiot. Uh, so how are we gonna connect you up? Let's take a look at the water first of all. 
Because that's easy enough. We just uh, run another another line out in this direction for you. Have it follow the road all the way around. We may not have built anything out here just yet, but uh, uh, that'll do. And we can probably just run power from this grid to that one. Like just from the outskirts here across to here. And that'll connect us up. Uh, and that will ensure that everything is in fact connected, except for this out here, which is going to have water, but not yet power. So let's make sure that it does receive power once it's... Uh, well, I, uh, I want to avoid the rock, really. Or will it build on the rock? Without Oh no, it's going to destroy it. I don't want it to be destroyed. I want... Well, I don't know what to do in that case. Yeah, come out the other side, probably. I don't mind running wires from here, actually. That's fine, too. We could run one from here across to here, and that'll connect it. For the time being, we can demolish that later, if needs be. But it's already plumbed in, so let's continue the simulation. There we go. Okay, so this is the beginning of something. We've got a nice roundabout system for... Uh, connecting out to the freeway, connecting into the different industries. What else can I do here? What are you complaining about? Okay, it is just, it is just at the moment a want for more industry, but that is uh, cropping up little by little. I don't have a need to zone anymore just yet, so I won't. Population 244. I think our first unlock happens at about um, 480. It's getting kind of dark now. Somebody's complaining about something. Probably just not enough workers. You can see the demand for residential is increasing again, so we'll probably wind up connecting these two areas. Is what we'll probably do. Uh, how exactly? I'm not 100% sure yet. Maybe by building that out a little bit and around like that, and then sort of looking to connect it just here like so. So it does a, ho a whole loop around. And then we can think about zoning some more some more residential over here. Just little by little. A little bit extra out here. There we go. And uh, no demand for commercial yet. Possibly a little bit more demand for industry. So we can start marking that out. Just like that. We can put a little bit of industry elsewhere as well. Yeah, I know, you can make buildings historical. Uh, no extra demand for commercial yet, though. Oh, so wait, what's your problem? Of course there's going to be problems. There's going to be problems out here. I haven't plumbed a lot of this in yet. I just need to make sure that the pipes connect up. There. Okay. And everything else should be connected, yes both to the power grid and to the water grid. And we're, what are we? We're 100% green, right? Because we're pumping water in from the river, yes, but we're not pumping waste out into it. We've just got the recycling plant here somewhere. And if needs be, we can increase its budget. We are not profitable yet. Oh, but we're getting close. There it is, we are. Uh, what is it saying? Yeah, weekly income. I think this is the income and economy tab, yeah. What's the currency? 
Do we just call them them dollars, or do we call them city books? I don't know. It's good though. We appear to be meeting all of the demands so far, so no concerns there. It is a little bit of an it's taking a little bit of an odd shape, and we need to start thinking about where more goes. Obviously I can build off more into this area here and this corner here just by adding offshoots to this road here. Yeah, roads now have names. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. The industry is uh, cropping up and I think that just means they're looking for people to take on jobs. That's fine. Traffic looks... Is that building up there? Are they parking there? There should be a no parking zone. This is a roundabout. And there are people using these. There are people walking, yeah. I just don't know why people are parking here on the roundabout. That should not be allowed. Uh, any demands? Oh, high demand for residential. So let's um, actually uh, plot out some more residential area. I mean, we could have it build up more into that area. That makes sense, doesn't it? It's totally fine. Uh, let's paint it down. Paint it down along here. Because there's clearly more demand for this than anything else. So let's get a good chunk of that done there. Fill in the last squares. That's good. And then we'll add a bit more commercial here later, probably. That's all plumbed in. It's going to be connected to the power grid. That's all good. Okay. And as demand for other things increases, we will uh, we'll revisit that. That's looking good so far. I'm liking that. And we're turning a profit. Money's going back up. Looking for an apartment or a house. Yeah, so these uh, social messages, these just sort of reflect these needs down here and presumably other bits and bobs as well. We are a little hamlet. We uh, now have taxes and loans. New services include, include garbage, healthcare, education, and campus areas. Okay. New buildings. Recycling center, community school, medical clinic, elementary school, and landfill site. We're going to go for a recycling center. So let's slow things down a bit. We're going to need a school for this area. And this... Is there a clear point here where I can fit a road in? No, it doesn't look like it. What would be good would be to have the road come off here and connect back over here. That's what I'm thinking. So we'll come off this node out to about here. And try to build it. I don't know. Like around the outside of the, the trees here? Yeah, let's do that. We'll make it go around the outside of the trees. That's totally fine. Trying our best to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that looks uh, uh, good to me. And then it just curves back into about here. That looks good. And we'll put a school on that road somewhere. Uh, so schools is... Nope, that's recycling center. Oh, we do need a medical clinic as well. But we also need a... An elementary school. So where's this elementary school going to go? How far does it serve? Oh, it doesn't serve very far, does it? Is that it? I was thinking it would cover that area. Graduated efficiency, low, high. Oh, so it's got a high efficiency if it's here, but not... We'd have to demolish houses, though, in order for it to serve any of these people. I was wanting it right about here, just by the forest. I thought that would be quite a nice place for it there. Maybe we add another road that connects, I don't know, but... High school... Hmm. I'm 
Okay. I'm going to add it just uh, where I said I was going to. Everybody's happier, but it's not doing much for them there. I just want a medical clinic somewhere. Uh, that can be just here, I'm thinking. Quite near to the junction for the road there. Is, is everybody happy? Not quite all the way. Oh, that sucks. Um, oh, we can't afford another one. Oh yeah, of course we have we have budgetary concerns. Ooh, we can't afford the recycling center. That is a concern. Uh, how much is the recycling center? It is sixteen thousand. But I can, if I want, take a loan. Silver Sunset Bank. Fifty-two weeks. Interest five percent. Weekly cost is four hundred three point eight five. We are making more than that at the moment. And the total would be 21,000 to repay. Should we take that just so we can get down to a recycling center? You can only have three loans at once. Loans can be repaid instantly with no extra cost to you. Okay, we've also got a budget tab and a taxes tab. We could increase taxation as well. Uh, let's just not take a loan yet. Maybe we can, how much did I say it was? 16,000, so maybe we get up there nice and quick anyway. Let's let that rack up some money then. Oh, and it needs plumbing. Plumbing, plumbing, plumbing. Okay, you need plumbing. But let me zone some more residential, actually. Because there's still high demand for it. So I'll put some, quite a bit around the elementary school here. Lovely scenic area. I think. Um... And we'll have it go all the way down to here as well. Fill in the gaps as well. There's a bit, there's a bit. Uh, here, here, and here. That will be fine for the time being. Now plumb it in. Plumb it in, because it's missing the plumbing. So we'll just have it follow the road up here. And this is costing me money as well. Probably not the most efficient way to have done this, actually. Because I'm uh, overlapping with a bit more, but I do like to have it following the road. Okay, so you're going to be plumbed in in a second. That's fine. You shouldn't have any concerns about power, should you? Seems not. Okay, that's good. Uh, so we're just waiting for this to rack up enough for me to get a recycling center down. Nobody's complaining about there being any recycling issues yet. There is increasing demand for uh, more industry. So the question is, do we expand more out in that direction or do we... Yes, there's the people complaining about garbage. We do need the recycling center. Okay, let's go ahead and take that, the, uh, take that loan. That's fine. And uh, we will get the... Recycling center. Plop down. Oh, it's got a good wide area of coverage, doesn't it? So maybe the recycling center should be quite near to the commercial district, is what I'm thinking. It could go here. That seems reasonable to me. Yeah, we'll pop it there, and that will be fine. There's also increasing demand, as I said, for industrial, but I wouldn't like it to get too close to the water treatment facility. Maybe it's going to have to. I'm sure the water treatment will be fine anyway. It's not like it's going to cross-pollute it, is it? This is technically the uh, area I've earmarked for industry, so just build it out a little bit more down to about there. Uh, it's going to have power, it's going to have plumbing, so that's all good. We will, what will we do now? Let the simulation run again. Is 
It's on the open up. That doesn't have power. That does not have power. We'll just connect it to this one, won't we? For the time being. Now you'll have power. Those recycling complaints appear to be disappearing. Or moving. They're moving up the road. Now they're gone. Uh, the industry is also having trouble with that. How are we for it? Oh no, the green is reaching all the way out there, so we're, we're good. Those complaints should disappear in a second. Oh, this is looking rather nice. And I haven't built anything on this side of the river yet. And this wind farm has uh, met our needs as well. How are we for... Um, uh, yeah, that doesn't actually help me. What a lovely day for a walk. Walking is healthy. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Is there anything else I can build yet? No. Uh... Yeah, still no, really. Landfill if I wanted to. We don't need a landfill, though. We don't need any of that yet. No, everything's good. Highest demand is for uh, more residential, actually. So we should whack down a little bit more, maybe over here? Or here? There's a bit more demand for commercial as well, so let's leave some space for that. We'll do it over here, just paint it in for the time being here. Well, we may as well go all the way to the junction here. Paint bucket to fill in the last little bit. Oh, we are now a worthy village. Uh, 950 population. We've unlocked a new area. You can purchase a new piece of land in the area. The area view, okay. Uh, districts policies, sec we can take out a second loan. District specializations, services policies. Wow, so much to learn. <laughs> Emergency services, police department, and unique buildings. Okay, so we're going to start seeing crime and potentially fires. Uh, there's also forestry specialization, agriculture specialization, self-sufficient buildings, organic and local product. This unlocks so much at this point. Power usage and water usage policies, smoke detector distribution policy. Police station, high capacity elementary school, firehouse. Okay. That's a lot. Plus a winter market. Oh, cinema? Wait, 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 wait. Cathedral? Cinema. 4,000 tourists need to visit, though. Okay, so these have some special requirements. Oh, a panda sanctuary? In the panda sanctuary, citizens can see happy pandas! Frolicking and generally enjoying life, such as sight brings happiness to anyone. A panda sanctuary! I want to build a pan panda sanctuary. How do I do that? Unique buildings. The Statue of Liberty. No. No. Uh, was it a park life item? No. Nope. It's not one of those. Pandas? Panda Sanctuary costs 180,000. We're not building one. Never mind. <laughs> That's so expensive. Okay. Um, instead of building one of those, let's just add some more commercial. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. And that, uh, that there is the recycling plant, yeah. There we go, and uh, accelerate time. Oh no! <laughs> the Panda Sanctuary costs so much. We can actually repay the loan now if we... Uh... Yeah, we can pay that back now. Let's just do that. Because that's going to save us money in the long run if we do that. We're not going to take out another loan just yet. We still have 20,000. We're all good, so... Yeah, oh, and now we have policies as well. Um... Energy conservation is important, and the best way to do it is by installing energy meters in buildings. Moderately reduced electricity consumption. 
Upkeep is $5 per building. Water usage, I'm guessing that's the same sort of thing. Yep. Smoke detector distribution. Upkeep is $5 per building. Significantly reduced risk of fire. Makes citizens' lives safer and the fire department's job easier by installing smoke detectors in buildings. No more... Well, poor cooking skills. Can we afford that? It's per building. How many buildings have we got? Like a hundred? So it's going to cost me like 500? Because I'm. this is just me taking a guess. How many buildings do we have? We have a 973 population. So it's got to be more than 100, right? We probably can't afford that. We'd have to increase taxes to pay for it. Uh, maybe we're not ready for a policy. Maybe we just want to slap down some emergency... Like a firehouse. Or... Well, and the police. That costs 12,000. This costs 12,000 as well. Ooh, also disaster services are here. Good to know. The... Firehouse. We could have you nice and central somewhere. Yeah, like on what street? Maybe, well, not on the roundabout. Let's make it clear that we're not putting it on the roundabout. At the junction here would be good. So that you could uh, immediately respond to something going down in any particular area. Yeah, just on the corner of the roundabout. I like that for the fire the fire station because I feel like fire is going to happen over here more frequently it's the industrial area rather than in people's homes or in the uh, the commercial district as for police I think that needs to be more in this kind of an area but we can't afford it yet unless we take out another loan let's just accelerate time a little bit and see if we get that 12,000 um first fire engines uh, yep we've got those we're at 9,200 9,300 and it's ticking up, ticking up slowly. Oh, I can also set districts. That's cool. Paint district. Create or reshape a district by painting it over an area. A race district. Paint pedestrian area. What? I don't know what a district is. District. Paint the... Uh, pause. Paint the part of the city you want to become a district. New districts will be named automatically, but can be renamed can be renamed later by clicking the district's name in its info window. Apply a special policy by selecting it. Okay. So the different sort of um, uh, political areas where you, well, the different policy areas where you can apply different policies. And what was I looking at before? These were policies, right? Yeah, but those would have been global for the entire city. Oh, I see. So if I wanted, I could say, hey, industrial buildings need to have smoke detectors. Or residential buildings, these need to have smoke detectors. Or something like that. That's good to know. Do we want to do that, then? What did we have? We had, uh, we had water, electric, and smoke detector policies that we could apply if we wanted to. There's also a new building. Landfill site. Yeah, I'm not ready for the landfill site. That's totally fine. I don't think we need it yet. I'm just waiting on being able to build a police station. So, very soon. 11,000. Halfway. And there's 12,000. That's all we need to build a police station in the commercial area somewhere is what I'm thinking. Are these places that have power? Okay, uh, let me pause. We'll get the police station down about... Yeah, about here. Sort of immediately next to the recycling centre, but that's okay. So there's not enough power. I think that's... We've got that down. But are we... Yeah, what, what, what's... Sorry. The music's really swelling here. Let me turn that down. Um... Uh, right, yeah, there's not enough available power coming in, so can we do something about that? Like, can we crank up the budget? 
on the power. Power production facilities will hire more people and thus produce more electricity with a higher budget. So we could increase the budget or we could build another turbine. And we could increase, decrease the budget by day and by night, uh, respectively. Oh, but there's so much. There's so much to see. Uh, I'm just going to build another turbine for now, I think. When I can afford to. Which will be when I have 6,000 euros. Can I take another small loan, please? Yes, just 20,000, thank you. Uh, just then I can slap down another wind turbine. In my little power grid network. Uh, just about there should do the trick. We could add another one as well. Yeah, let's add two. And that should... Uh, that should cover the power grid. That should meet all of our needs. Ooh, um, if we're having power issues, we might begin having water issues soon as well. What's our what's our water situation like? Oh, our water situation is brilliant. Okay, that's fine. So power was a was a much bigger concern. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Thank you. Okay, so we have. Police, fire, we have a medical clinic, we have a school. A building has leveled up. If you provide good services and education and have a high land value, the zoned buildings will... Oh, okay. Which one leveled up? No idea. Happened, though. See, I was wondering about that, because there were different zones. Like, eventually you can have, um, well, an office zone... Eventually you can have a high-density commercial. This is low-density commercial. And you can also have high-density residential, eventually, as well. But you, they, buildings can also level up, and I think that increases their capacity. Even without it being high-density. I think. I don't really know, but I do want to check my zones. I have a little bit more space here. And a little bit around what we're now thinking of as sort of the center, I guess. We could find another way to connect these, like further back up here, but no point in doing that yet. Uh, high demand for more residential, actually, so we should really focus on that. We really should. How and where are we going to add more residential? I really like having this scenic like field bit in the middle, so I might create another offshoot from somewhere into this area. That's going to be good, I think, yeah. Um, so from this... It's going to destroy a house or two. Wouldn't we prefer to do it without destroying houses? I think so. Alright, let's do it without destroying houses then. Okay, the road's going to go uh, out in this direction. I'm just going to cut in sharply around here. Oh, I don't know about this. How bad should I feel about, like, um... Destroying existing buildings to make room for new roads. If at all. That seems good. Plenty of area for new residential. Let's paint that in. Uh, yeah, starting over here, that's totally fine. Just paint the entire area residential, and uh, we can have some more houses built in. Fantastic. 
backpacked all the way to here. Hit that other side as well. Zoom in. Because I think I want the other side to be commercial. Up to about there. I think I want the commercial to come to this corner here, so... I'm going to add that in now. Not that side, though. That can be... Uh, that's a little bit of residential. And this and this can be residential. This as well. Back over to this side. Did we get it all? We got it all? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, here, here. This little bit here. It's going to be a tiny little house there. Uh, ooh. Weird narrow bit there as well. This should be good. Nothing there yet. I think we'll use this space eventually. Well, no, because it's right on the roundabout. I'm fine building stuff on this road, say. Just not on on the actual roundabout itself. And I'm really annoyed by people using it for parking. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, that's plenty more residential. Uh, there's also a little bit more demand for commercial, which we'll start... Maybe we'll start filling that in at this uh, part here. Because we can have good walking connections here, can't we? So if this is like this is like a town centre, this is the beginning of like a town centre, uh, sort of with plenty of residential crashing into it. Then we have an industrial zone up there. Whatever, it's fine. That demand for residential is going to go down. It's going to need plumbed in. Oh my god, because a lot of it just isn't yet. So let's begin following the road around, all the way around. A little bit more. And have it connect up, yeah, just about there, whatever. Uh, it's plumbed in and the electric will be fine, provided there's enough power getting out of here. So as that crops up, it shouldn't have any complaints about there being not enough water. There shouldn't be any complaints about it having not any electricity. Unless our little wind farm can no longer meet the demand, which is very possible. There's a... Oh, that's just my mouse. I thought there was an icon there. Okay. Looking good. Demand for residential going down. Demand for commercial. Uh, still kind of going up. So, where can we build some? Well, there's loads of area actually around here that we could use if we wanted. Let's build up to this corner a little bit more. Add a little bit of commercial here, this side. A little bit more here, but none on the roundabout. And a bit up this side as well. Beyond the, what's this, fire station? Yeah. Okay. That's that's looking good. I'm liking that. Oh, maybe a bit on this side as well. Oh, we're a tiny town. Okay, we've got even more. We have unlocked. Park areas, industry areas, sorry, industry areas. Um, pedestrian areas, landscaping, event policies as well. Park policies. New services includes parks and plazas. Okay, industry areas, fishing industry. Level two unique buildings, football, concerts. Okay, so we have event centers now, that's brilliant. Um, we could perhaps build a football stadium or a, you know, a concert hall. Bunch of policies, holy moly. Pet ban, smoking ban, parks and recreation, schools out, profile parks, match security, um, come one, come all. That's amazing. Tons more roads, fishing routes, oh my god. Oh, there's so much to get into now. Or industry fence. Oil industry fence. Playgrounds and parks. That's a lot to explore. I think we're going to have to get into this in the next episode. In the meantime, this has been fantastic. Yeah, I've missed it. Like I said, I used to play... Um, this is flashing. Oh yeah, I can purchase one of these if I want. How much do they cost? Oh, only 5,000. So we could 
significantly increase our um, play area here. This one gets me the freeway that I've branched off from. Uh, does this one north of me actually get me the uh, railway or not? What's all this I'm seeing here? Let me check. It has no highway connections. It has a train connection. Oh, so does that one. So does that one. This one doesn't have a train connection. And this one doesn't have a train connection. So most of these have a train connection. That's cool. So that might be good to get next. Uh, you have no water connection, but you can connect to the air and to the highway. You have train and plane. You... Oh, you have all three. So you've got a large enough body of water that you can connect via water as well up here. Uh, you do not. I want one of the ones with the trains. This one might be the best one north of me. It doesn't have a highway connection, but it does have um, uh, most of the other connections that I would be interested in. We'd have to get across the river. I think the train connects on this side of the river, though, so that would be... That would be good. Where's the railway on this side, though? I don't see it. Uh, well, actually, we are expanding more in this direction, so this does make more sense. I just don't know if I want to commit to that immediately. No oil or ore resources. No oil or ore. Ooh, there was oil resources, but no ore resources here. There is all resources, but I'm not really going into mining yet, am I? Apparently now I can, though, so that's something to start thinking about. Uh, anyway. As I was saying, God, I've missed this. Like, it's reminding me so much of playing SimCity 4, which was such a completely different game. Because um, you don't have this level of uh, uh, sort of malleability, this level of control of how you placed roads and that sort of thing. This has been a lot of fun. I hope you join me for the next one. In the meantime, I've been Tom. This has been City Skylines. Thank you so much for joining me for the... the blah, blah. Screwing up my ending. Thank you so much for joining me for this. And ta -ra.